MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Seth Lugo gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Here's Matt Carpenter, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Off the night for St. Louis, third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Oh one. Here's the pitch. And he chased up and out of the zone a swing and a miss. He came out of his shoes on that one boys. I know he swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here. But if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low we got action. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, if you're pitching, you better look out for Yadier Molina. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Lugo, 28 years old. He was taken in the very late rounds back in 2011. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. And there are two away now. Now at the plate, Paul DeYoung. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. I love the aggressive approach by this pitcher right now, getting on the mound and getting ahead of the first three guys he faces. Hit high and deep to right center. On the run is Nimmo. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Nothing for the Cardinals to start. Mets coming to bat. We're just getting started ourselves on MLB Network. Daniel Ponce de Leon, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. In now, Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Towards second. And this will be put away easily for the out. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Michael Conforto has been a big piece for them. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. At the plate, Brandon Nimmo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Softly hit here to the left side. And this will be taken in by the third baseman for the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Bautista. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. We are still scoreless. And 
And now the Cardinals number four hitter number 41. He ready for his first plate appearance. Number 41. First offering on its way. In the air now out to right field. Giving chase is Nimmo. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Here's the defensive alignment for the New York Metropolitans. And let's focus on Jose Bautista. Known obviously for the high leg kick and the light tower power. He's no slouch defensively. Works hard at his craft and has the ability to throw guys out with a strong and accurate arm. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball that just misses, ball one. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two-seamer to right-handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. 2-0 now. He takes a knee-high fastball. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Popped up. Back behind second. Number 68. Over to his right. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting second. First baseman. Matt. Now batting Matt Adams. Set and the pitch. The knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs. Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now to the plate, Michael Conforto. Leading set up, to lead there. off the home half of the and second. Michael Conforto. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. 2 and 0 now. The 2 0 is looked at for the first strike. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Here now the 2 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So here's how the Cardinals are positioned defensively. And let's focus on the captain of the defense, Yadier Molina. Future Hall of Famer, ability to control a pitching staff and shut down the opposition's running game. Bottom of the second here with no score. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Smith stands in at an even six feet. Throws left-handed, swings the bat the same way. This is his first year at the big league level. And that's the second out. Batting third baseman, T.J. So digging in now, T.J. Rivera will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down, but the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five drop. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Met strand one. We'll move to the third with no score. And that'll bring up the former top prospect Harrison Bader. He's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And 
boy, Dude, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Hit well on the ground to first. And that's the first hit in this one for the Redbirds. Well, there's a case, not that bad of a pitch, 0-2 D-roll, but something he'd like to get down and bury in the strike zone, no doubt about it. Yeah, ground ball with eyes right there. Nice job by the offensive player, just, just to battle. 0-2 is a tough spot to be in. He battled. Colton Wong will stand in. Runners off for second. Pitch inside the throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. One and zero pitch on the way. There's a change up over the outside corner. Third inning, no score to this point. Hit out towards second. Right to him. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Coming to the plate now, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Redbirds down quietly. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Next up for New York, Tomas Nito, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Nito stands at an even six feet tall, a right-handed batter and thrower. He was an eighth-round selection during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. The wind up and the 0 1. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. I always felt 0 2, you had to cover away. If a guy's going to bury you in three times in a row, you tip your cap and walk back to the dugout because that's not easy to do. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. The one, two. Popped up. Molina calls for it, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the TCU product, the left-handed hitting Matt Carpenter, is the first to bat in the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Carpenter is a player referred to as clutch by teammates, coaches, and of course the media. He seems to find himself in pressure situations often. And it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. It just appears he really relishes the big spot. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Stepping into the box, Yadier Molina. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. In there for strike one. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. 
Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime okay, position to put the first run on the board right here. So that brings in the power-hitting middle infielder, Paul DeYoung. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And the runner is in from second. And a relay home. And it's there, but it's dropped at the plate. Man, he was not messing around here. Sitting on the first now pitch he saw and Number drove one, it to one. the outfield, bringing in both runners and putting himself into scoring position. It's great to see a guy that's aggressive at the plate when he's got a chance to do some damage. In now, number 41. As he rips it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. How about it? Right fielding. Digging in, Jose Martinez. He popped out in his first trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Missed with a slider. That's the human element of the game right there. Umpires are going to miss a couple calls. It's the pitcher's ability to stay composed and grind that's going to make him successful today. The 1-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Here's Matt Adams now. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Moving under it, Conforto. And that retires the side. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Cardinals three and the Mets nothing. And here's the former first round draft Leading choice, Brandon Nimmo. He sets a lead us right off in the field. home half of the fourth right. inning. High Nimmo. in the air out to center field. Bader on the move, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Into the box, Jose Bautista looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Mets go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, 3 nothing, And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now in the box, Colton Wong. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch of the at bat. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks 
a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There we go. It swung on and missed the throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. Three runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left, and with it, the Cardinals have increased their lead four to nothing. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot as the result. Here's Matt Carpenter. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But the cards add on just a bit, courtesy of this solo home run. Middle of the night at City Field. It's now 4-0 St. Louis. So striding forward now, Dominic Smith. He'll start things down Bring here in the home back. fifth, and it's been Bring tough sledding for this lineup Dominic through the first Smith. half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. It'd be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Curveball, strike three called, and he didn't like it, but there's the first out. A little bit over halfway home tonight. Bottom of the fifth as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys. And they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Swinging a soft liner. And that falls in for a solid base hit. His second of the night. Hey, d -Row, that's a one-out single right there. Hey, the pitcher hasn't pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention a little bit more diverted on first base, and then he leaves a cookie over the middle of the plate. Well, this is speared by the first baseman, but they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. The catcher, number three, Omar. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tomas Nito. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot 0 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. The 1 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Mets leave 1. They trail here 4 to nothing. Robert Gesellman takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 65. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. One for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive play. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. How about it? Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. Strike one to start the at bat. Ball one. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike.
hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it is Nimmo. He's got it one away. Ready for another chance. Number, Number 41. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Yeah. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Molina, base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Ready once again, Jose Martinez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First offering on its way. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Gone! So it's a two run shot to right center as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. Wow, he really hit that ball well. Put a great swing on it with great extension, and it sailed right out of here. Now Here's Matt, Matt Adams now. Matt Adams. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Swing and a miss at one that almost hit him. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three and the inning is over. But the cards do strike for two both coming on this two run dinger. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Cardinals six and the Mets nothing. Austin Jackson is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Jackson. Hit out towards second. And there's one down now. The batter number one, shortstop. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. No balls in one strike. And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Seventh inning upon us with the Cardinals out on top, and it's time to check out the game summary to see how we got here. Rafael Montero comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. On a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. High in the air out to center field. Conforto has a beat on it. One away. So stepping in, Colton Wong. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do Number too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Into the box now, Daniel Ponce de Leon. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. He's set. Here's the 0-1, and he fouls this one off. Popped him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The next 02. A double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Riding in once again, Jose Bautista. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Stepping in, Michael Conforto struck out twice Michael thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Bases are empty, one man out. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Conforto behind a ball and two strikes. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So coming to the plate, Dominic Smith. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Two out, nobody on. One and two to Dominic Smith. 0 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ballgame, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Matt Carpenter. He'll start us off in the eighth. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. But an atom ball right to him for the first down. Now at the plate, Yadier Molina. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. Softly hit to the left side. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. Ready now, Paul DeYoung. In terms of the head-to-head -head with Rafael Montero, he's two for four. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that pitch catches the inside corner. That's one of those pitches you just float over the plate. 99% of the time, the batter is taking at least the first pitch after two straight one pitch out, so you almost can underhand it up there. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the digging in once again, TJ Rivera. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And a good throw gets him one gun. 
Now batting. Into the box now, number 68. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on swivel. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Number three. Oh Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Ninth inning coming up. St. Louis is out in front, six to nothing. Now, beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Stepping in, number 41. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings. The guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Ready to take his hacks again, Jose Martinez, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. 0 oh 2, the count to Jose Martinez. That pitch just had too much velocity on it for you to catch up to that. Unless you're cheating to a high fastball above the belt and you're all in, I say you got to find a way to lower your sights. Or it's going to be a tough game. The one two. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Conforto. The range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now batter. Next to bat for St. Louis. Matt Adams. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Pulled toward right center field. Conforto is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They lead it six zip. Wilmer Flores will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the night. They've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still looks like he's approaching it like it's a close game. Hit hard on the ground to second. Played on the backhand. On to first, and it's dropped. Luckily for him, though, there'll be no advance. The batter number one, shortstop. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He went down on strikes last time up. No balls and a strike to count. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out. But that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Ahmed Rosario is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And he misses there, one and two. On the ground is short. This could be two. One there. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. At the plate, Jose Batista. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Nimmo, the runner at first with two gone. Very high, two and one. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. In there, strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And this one is gone, a home run. So a three-run shot to right center field. And with that, it's now a 6-3 to three ball game. They seem to forget that the game started a while ago, but better late than never, I guess. Sometimes one big hit is all it takes to get a team going. We'll see if they can build on it and make a run here. Digging in, Dominic Smith. And the starter remains out there despite just allowing the long ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that home run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. Matt Bowman takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Bowman has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. The Mets down to their final strike. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early, then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Three runs already home here. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Redbirds took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Daniel Ponce de Leon earns the victory on the mound. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, six runs. Eight hits, one error. They left us one runner on base. For the Mets, three runs, four hits, no errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 20 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening, and please drive home safely.